Hey guys! Welcome back to my channel and in today's video we're going to be talking, talking about, about our Camila uh, uh, meet and greet experience. Camila Cabello meet and greet experience. So let's, let's get, get started! First of all we're just going to tell you about sort of like the pre meet and greet thing like what happens before yeah. like the queuing up etc and then we will tell you about our okay. individual experiences so here we go i'm no good with story times <laughs> um you can't be a story time youtuber even if you tried hello guys welcome back to my story time channel here's the third story of the day <gasps> Let's hide my arms. My arms are really badly faked hand. Just putting that in my story time video. If you're wondering why my hands are orange. Okay, let's hide them. Umpa lumpa. Right, so basically, here we go with the story. It was in Birmingham. Mm hmm In England. Yeah. Just to clarify. Uh, yeah, so we met her at the Birmingham show. We got there for four o'clock. We had to queue up in the meet and greet queue. Mm hmm And then you had to check in. So basically, you went up to this desk and you had to like hand your ID in. And then they give you like the VIP lanyard. This thing! This. So it's VIP on one side and then all the tour dates on the back. Just throw that around your neck. We both got one because yeah. we were like both meeting her individually. That's the word. So that's that. Don't think that's going to work. No, it's not working. <laughs> it's already over there. We checked in, we got the lanyards, and then you had to queue up again. Like in the same order you were already in. Well, when you queued up, you got wristbands yeah, you that had got... numbers on. I still have mine on, and I was number 76. She was number 75. Yeah, so that it all stays in order. So, yeah, luckily it was all really organised and everything. Yeah. So, yeah, you queue up again once you've got your VIP lanyard and your wristband. And then, that's when you're going to meet her. We were queuing for absolutely ages. We didn't meet until about quarter past six, so we've been queuing for like a good few hours. Yeah. So we went in, everyone's taking it turns to meet her, and the queue's moving down. And it does take a while because it, it was like not rushed. I know that some places have been rushed, but this yeah. like wasn't. So you're moving down, and then there's like this big, like, what's the word? A big thing that she stands behind. Like a screen. It's like a big, like a green screen thing, but instead but of- But not green and it says, Never, Never be the, the same, same. Camila Cabello. Yeah. Yeah. So it's basically a green screen, but just not green. So yeah, so you can't see Camila unless if you're meeting her, she's like hidden behind this thing. We're queuing up and we're just like, oh my God. And I'm having like a breakdown because I think I'm going to cry. And like when people are finishing the meet and greet, you can see them walking out and everyone's just in tears. And we're like, oh my God, what is she doing? Is she like beating everyone up? <laughs> We like thought she was. Everyone was crying, and nobody looked like they was happy crying. No, it all just looked like they was like about to have like an emotional breakdown. They were. That's why they were crying. Yeah. Anyway, I went first because I'm number one. <laughs> no, your number was just before mine. This is going to be the worst story time meeting great experience video you've ever heard. <laughs> we literally cannot tell a story to save our life. It's already gone tragically wrong and I don't really remember my experience, but we're going to give it a best shot. So I got in there and she was like, hi, and I was like, hi, and then I gave her a hug, right? And then when I was talking to her, she had like holding my arms, she was like holding my arms and she was like, yay close to my face. I was like, what? I was like, shooketh. So shooketh. I, I word vomited. <laughs> I spilled every word in the dictionary out to her. Not literally, but it felt like it. So I don't really have a clue what I said or what she said. I just remember she was like in my face and I was just like, whoa. And she's just like really small and tiny and I literally she thought- She was so precious, I'm just like. I thought I was gonna snap her in half. And then when I was like talking to her, she pulled me in for a hug like mid conversation. Yeah. So that was like, oh my God, this is happening. <laughs> And then she pulled me for a hug for the picture, so we had a hugging picture. I weren't planning on doing a hugging picture. Yeah, but same. We had a hugging picture. <laughs> yeah. And it doesn't look too bad. My picture's terrible. I was not concentrating at all. Yeah, we will insert a picture of as meet and greet pictures at some point. In this video. video. Just so somewhere. keep watching. 
and you will see it. Boom ting. <laughs> uh, yeah, so, and then she was all like, enjoy the show, I love you. She's but like in an American accent because that like wasn't American. <laughs> I don't really know what that was. Right, anyway, so yeah, that was that. I don't really remember it. I just remember like, And then it was her turn, so take it away. When I walked in, like, we hugged, like, it was, like, a mildly okay hug because, like, I didn't really, like, squeeze her because she's, like, actually teeny, tiny, like, yeah. She's, like, this big in person. Literally. And then we, she was, like, how are you? And I was, like, I'm good, how are you? And then she, like, asked my name and then I told her my name and then we hugged again. Did you not ask what her name was? <laughs> That's rude. And then we had like a conversation. I don't actually remember what about, but I know we had a conversation and she was like staring into my soul when we was having this conversation. She does that. Yeah, she's like, it's a fact. She's like a really good listener. I think like if you tell her something, she'd like actually listen and process. Make sense? I'm just gonna go with it. But then, like, when I was like leaving, she was like, I love you. And then she was like, and then we hugged again. And then, like, I left. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then we walked outside and we were like, oh my god. And like, I was shaking. Like, yeah. So after we met, I we went back outside because we had to queue up again to get into the venue. Yeah. Everyone was like still in the order of the numbers. Yeah. And then we were like talking to these people that we met earlier. Because yeah. they were like just in front of us in the queue. So we we're all like, oh my God, freaking out. And we were just on about like how bad the pitch is gonna be. <laughs> so yeah, that's that. So we queued up again. And then the doors opened for the concert at like seven o'clock. Yeah, even though we were like number 75 and 76 in the queue, we still got barrio when we went in. Yeah. Cause meet and greet get let in first. Mm -hmm. And then the general public. And we got to the barrier, didn't we? Barrier. Yeah. And then what happened when we got to the barrier? We stood there. We did. <laughs> we stood there at the barrier. <laughs> <laughs> no, and then we, we just had to like wait for everyone to get let in. And then the support act came on. I liked the support act. They were okay. I wouldn't see them again if I had the choice. Um, I don't know if I would. Yeah, so then, and then Camila came on stage at like nine, nine? o'clock yeah, yeah. Nine. nine o'clock and then it finished at about like what was ten -ish? yeah i think yeah yeah so she came on and the first song she sung was never be the same sang she sung <laughs> she sang she sung she sung she sing. yeah she sang never be the same and then she mm. just like went through like all her album songs and then she did the whole thing where she walks off stage pretends it's ended and everyone's like ah, ah. is it that like called encore or something it's no. called You've never seen this five million times before at other concerts, you totally don't know what's happening. I'm totally tricking you. <laughs> You've just been prepped by the prank patrol. So yeah, so then she came back on stage and she was all like, Sangria wine. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know the dance, I'm sorry. It's like, fake fan. Sangria. And then like, you've got like, move your feet. I don't know. So she did that and then she sang Havana and then it was all like, bye. And then that was it. Didn't you get a bruise from it? I got bruised because it was these stupid people. <laughs> there was at the barrier, but they kept pushing this way, and I'm like, stay. So I had a lot of room, and I had like yay much room, and I've got a massive bruise on my arm from being like lent. Because the barrier's like that. And it was like, like a the corner. corner. Yeah. So I had my hand over the barrier, leaning against the other barrier, so that I didn't lose barrier. And, but then somehow, by like three quarters of the way into it, I got my whole space back. Yeah. I think they just learned that, like, I weren't moving. You ain't moving. I will fight you. You ain't getting me out of this spot. Oh. So, yeah, that's probably the best or worst story time video you've ever heard. Probably the worst. What you but can, we're going to ignore that. What you can take away from this video is... I'm trying to think of something <laughs> funny. Leave me alone. <laughs> but we all know I'm not funny, so we're going to end the video there. Yeah. Yeah, that's... I'm really itchy. I think I've got fleas. <laughs> okay, so that's the end of the video. I hope it Goodbye. wasn't too bad. Can you stop saying bye when we're not finished <laughs> speaking? <laughs>